trips to FCT residents. Please, a round of applause for Her Excellency as she makes her way to the podium. In the name of Allah, most gracious, the most master, the chairman, Senate Committee on FCT, every represented by the vice chairman, Senate Committee on FCT, Senator Ekon Sanso, who had to leave for the Red Chamber after delivering his good old message. Other members of the National Assembly present here, the Permanent Secretary FCT, equally represented by the Director of Operations, Mr. Arthur Newears, the Mandate Secretary Agri Aurora Development, Marlon Lawal Kulu Gaidem, other Mandate Secretaries for the seven other Secretariats, all Directors of FCTA and FCDA here present, all Area Council Chairmen under the urban leadership of Algon, the chairman of Kuali, other officials of the FCT area councils present, our royal fathers, led by the honor of Abaji, Dr. Adamu Baba Yunusa, the unit lungs. Other distinguished personalities present, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon all. It is with gratitude to Almighty God and a great sense of responsibility that I stand here this afternoon on this auspicious occasion for the distribution of much-needed palliatives to the FCT residents, a federal government initiative that is aimed at cautioning the effect of the recent force of the removal. First and foremost, I acknowledge the presence of our distinguished guests, representatives from various sectors of the society and the people of the LCT who have graced us with their presence here. Your supports are invaluable as we navigate through the challenges of delivering the dividends of democracy. The decision to remove world subsidy was not an easy one, but it was a necessary step toward ensuring the long-term economic stability and growth of our nation. It is an undeniable fact that foreign subsidy has been a heavy burden on our economy for many years. It is removal will enable the government to redirect resources towards critical sectors such as healthcare, education, agriculture, infrastructure development, all geared towards uplifting the Nigerian economy and create opportunities for growth and development. As it is with most new policies, the response of the market has so far now has triggered a sharp rise in cost of living, making it difficult for many to make their end needs. I would like to assure you that the federal government is fully aware of the immediate impact this decision has on the lives of ordinary citizens. The policy has resulted in an increase in the cost of living, especially for the vulnerable members of our society. It is for this reason that the present administration, under the urban leadership of the Mr. President, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, approved the immediate release of the food items to alleviate the hardship faced by our people. As you all know, food security is the topmost or the number one on the list of agenda of his excellency that's the renew hope agenda because of it is uh, importance for the first stage of this support the lct has received delivery of total of 17,222 bags of rice 8,400 bags of maize which will be distributed to the targeted groups among which are the fifth area councils 17 FCT chiefdoms for their community members, civil servants, vulnerable groups, and faith-based organizations. These items are meant to provide immediate relief and support to families affected by the subsidy removal while it works toward implementing uh, sustainable solutions that would enhance infrastructure, education, and healthcare to ensure a brighter future for all Nigerians. Let me, however, use this opportunity to assure you of our commitment in the FCT administration to continue to implement innovative programs and uh, explore every avenue to revitalize our economy and create an environment where everyone can thrive. But with this cannot be done without the support of corporations 
of every resident, particularly the private sector, so that together we can overcome the challenges and build a stronger, more resilient economy that benefits everyone. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the Permanent Secretary, Mandate Secretary, staff of the agri Rural Development Secretariat, and all those that have contributed to the success of this uh, initiative. I want to assure every resident of the NCT that we are committed to ensuring a fair and transparent distribution process. Our goal is to reach every deserving individual and family, irrespective of their political, ethnic or religious affiliation. To conclude my address, I would like to urge the beneficiaries of this palliative to use them wisely and endeavor to share with those who are most in need. Let us remember that we are all in this together. And by supporting one another, we can emerge stronger and more united. Long live the Federal Capital Territory, long live Nigeria. I thank you all for attention. I wish you God blessings always. Thank you very much. Another round of administration. Oh. 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 <laughs> I found you. What's up? So we're going to summon it for us to grow efficiently the one that is because they are the one that we need for them to benefit. Then others are going to need for the press members because of their contribution to the success of our work. We also have for the children and also other uh, groups, vulnerable groups and other special groups, especially groups that are present here. Then subsequently others will be given the allocation uh, later so that they will go to the store and collect it. So in the name of Almighty, we are blessed in this distribution of Father In the name of God, the Almighty Allah bless you. We need to get a few hundred back of me for each area of the world. They are going to share my no, bro, you can't cross here. Sir, 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 thank you very much. Don't be, please. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bro, you want the position? If you do that, let me cross my lens. No, it can go up. Half an hour. I'm on fine. I got you. Hi, dear. Yeah, man. Uh, so the next is for thirty different vulnerable groups. We have ten bags of maize and ten bags of rice for each of the thirty vulnerable groups. We have a slow fresh home. From the area Thank you. 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 Thank you.
to convey that place. We then go. You are getting supposed to be protected. Yes. Physically, you get them for your own. Physically, you get them for your own.